Hi, welcome to my channel. Today we are gonna do some yoga. Um, so we were doing mommy toddler yoga, but there's no more videos for that. So we started with the mommy and baby yoga, and the last one, hey, was a little too big for it, but this is class three of mommy and baby yoga. Which would be like the fourth time we're filming. But, um. And Mama's Liel and Milena is here, and we're so excited to be back with our third episode of Baby and Mama Yoga. Before we're gonna get started, we just want to thank you so much for all your loving comments and support in our previous videos. And just to let you know, you are inspiring us to be back with more Baby and Mama Yoga for you. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now, Milena is right now in a little bit different stage already. She is a crawling baby, so the practice will be slightly baby. different. And when your baby is <laughs> begin crawling, we need to be more interacted with the baby. The baby so let's see how it goes. Answer. Let's get started. begin this practice in cross-legged seated position if your baby is sitting already place it in front of you or in a lying position and uh, we need to keep them inhale reach the arms up to the sky exhale bring the hands to your heart and you can make some noises just to keep your baby with you inhale exhale inhale Using the breath, connect into the present moment. Inhale, reach the arms up for a lot of energy in your fingertips. Next, exhale, we're going to bring the left hand down and reach the right arm across the face into a nice side body stretch. Gaze underneath your armpit, but at the same time with your baby eyes, you need to make some funny face. And make sure you're breathing into your side body. Inhale. Water, I'll be dehydrated. To tune into your body. 
I recommend that if anyone's going to try this workout with me, that you drink water. Lots of water. Otherwise, you'll feel dehydrated. Here's Mimi. Hi, Milena. Hi, Milena. All right, 
front standing split. Bring the left foot down to the mat. Grab your baby and we're gonna rise up to standing and make our way into a tree pose. So shift the weight to the right foot. Left foot can come into your inner shin or inner thigh or even resting the toes on the floor. Whatever feels comfortable for you. Let's give the baby a nice hug and just find stillness. Standing here. Breathing. A little bit more challenge. Grab the baby with both of your hands. Extend in front of you. Woo! <laughs> but make sure that you're really comfortable with that. Mommy is dancing on the mat. <laughs> All right. Let's give it a back hug. Still in tree pose. Maybe a little dance. Give your baby a nice hug. Inhale. Exhale. Feet down. Shake this out. Inhale. Reach the baby up high. Exhale. Chair pose. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Chair pose. Inhale. Up. Exhale. Squat down. Chair pose. Keep slow. Keep the weight into your hands. And just keep moving with the breath. Inhale. Exhale. Breathe out. And we're gonna magically gonna bring the baby 
back in here. Tuck the right toes under and we're gonna make our way into a high lunge. Inhale, lift. Find your balance. Now lift the baby. Exhale, sink. Tap the right knee down. Inhale up. Exhale, sink. Tap. Inhale up. Exhale. That's right. Two more. Inhale. Thank you for helping me. Last one. Sink down. Drop the knee all the way down. We're gonna come back into the nice low lunge. Give our baby a nice hug. And into a half squeeze. Hold the baby. Send the hips to the back of your mat. Slide the baby down. Reach the heart forward. Breathe into your sensations. Play with the baby. Inhale. Exhale, place the baby in front of you, if it's not there, <laughs> bring it into that left knee, and inhale, standing splits, send the right heel up high as you're folding on your standing leg. Few nice, easy breaths. And then drop that right foot down. Grab the baby, slowly make your way up into standing, and let's find a tree pose, your variation of tree pose. Again, make sure that you are very comfortable as you're holding the baby. You don't want to lose the balance and drop the baby. Yeah, yeah, good, good job. Just find a few moments of stillness, come back to the breath. And if you feel brave enough, stable enough, try to lift the baby in front of you. Oh, that looks this like, a little bit stronger for me. Wow. <laughs> One more breath in tree pose. Inhale. Exhale, bring the foot down. Shake out the legs. Inhale, lift the baby up. Exhale, chair pose. Inhale, up. Exhale, chair pose. <laughs> Inhale up. Exhale, chair pose. Shall keep going. Five. Full breath out. Up and 
basically the baby is again here. Now we're gonna move to another core exercise. Walk the feet to the middle of your mat. Have a seat and crab your baby. Mira, yes. how's it? I gotta place Mira, how's it? her onto my belly. So belly to belly. Mira. Give her a nice hug. Extend the legs. And we're gonna here rock and roll. Try to Mira. hover the heels and then lower the shoulders down. Hover. Back and forward, back and forward. This is a really strong core exercise. Pretty tough. I'm doing my own. Let's keep moving forward. Five, four, three, two, and one. Try to hold your last one. Hold the heels. Lift your heart. Breathe. Smile. Five. Oh my God, off my back. And one, breathe in, breathe in. And open mouth, breathe out. That was a tough one. Scoop a little bit backward. We'll move into a straddle forward fold. Go ahead and straddle the legs as much as you can. Put the baby down. And go ahead and fold forward any amount that is accessible to you. And just take this time to connect with your baby, to play with her or with Man. him. Yeah. Make some funny faces. And then find a little bit of movement as you stretching those hip joints, your inner thighs. video on the TV today because I don't have no internet data to have it connected to my TV so I have another phone playing the video I had to move it down to where I could see it okay Shavasana, 
So again, belly to belly connection. Extend the legs in front of you. Give your baby a nice hug. Not always the practice is gonna look nice and beautiful, but it really does not matter. What matters is to step on your mat and just to do whatever is accessible to you. Because each breath, each movement is going to bring you more joy, health and happiness into your daily reality. So don't skip, don't get frustrated, just do whatever is accessible. Always embrace things with smile and with positive attitude. You're welcome to stay, to stay in Shavasana for as long as you wish to. Myself and Milena, we want again thank you for tuning in, for practicing with us today. We hope you are enjoyed it. I enjoyed it. I just hope that YouTube doesn't think that I'm doing something um dirty here and take my video down again. I mean, it's just yoga. But you wasn't watching this. This is yoga. So yeah, just putting it right there, this is yoga, I'm not trying to show off my body or nothing, so there's no need for anyone to report this video. But, it's only 8.45 in the morning, 8.36 to be exact. It's only 8.36 in the morning. We woke up before 7 o'clock. Usually we don't even wake up till like 9 o'clock, but we woke up before 7 o'clock. Um, got him some milk, and sippy cup, and we're doing this workout. And um, I heard that it's best to do workouts before our yoga before you even have breakfast. So that's what we did today. Well, he had his milk, but I haven't had breakfast. So, it's 8.36 in the morning. We're about to go have pancakes for breakfast. And hopefully, this yoga has gave us a good start to our day. We're going to be more energized. I haven't done this in a couple of days. Um, yeah, I haven't done this in a couple of days, but we'll get back in the habit. And we be more energized throughout the day. i got to go get my son, so... Peace out.